Hey, good morning, folks. This is Donovan and Dudley. And so we are here at the parking lot. We are the first ones on the scene. <laughs> we are ready for this mission trip, heading down to Juarez, Mexico, to do the work of the Lord. Uh, we'll be going and building homes uh, for these two families. And we're so excited. So we asked the church to pray for us as we hit the road. Um, we're waiting for the rest of the team to show up so we can load up the trailer. You can see the van over there. We are ready. And you can see the trailer in the background right over there. So, uh, Dudley, what is this like for you? This is your first mission trip. What's going through your mind right now? Oh, man, it's exciting. I don't know what to think. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope I can do everything I need to do. There you go. You know, it's it's amazing experience to be able to go on a mission trip. And, you know, one of the things that our church, OBBC, one of the, the desire is that every member of the church will get to experience mission. You know, in Matthew 28, the Bible says, go. And we want you to go. We want you to experience serving. We want you to experience making the disciples we want you to experience sharing the gospel it changed your perspective it changed your your way of thinking when it comes to the gospel when you go and you see how god use those opportunity to transform each and every one's life so dudley we are headed to mexico yep. we are going to get out of the u.s for a little bit oh, yeah. <laughs> and we are just so excited so god bless you we will see you on the next clip hey good morning folks so this is day one we just got to our first site, site one. We got Rick, Travis, our uh, team leader who's gonna build this house for us. We're just here to look pretty. <laughs> uh, so um, we just got to meet the family that we're gonna be building for. And so we're just excited to see what God is gonna do as we uh, put this together. So uh, we thank you again for your support. Dudley, say good morning to the team. Good morning. Well, we're in Mexico. It's Spanish, so you can't say good morning. You got to say buenos dias. Buenos dias. There we go. And that's our Spanish 101. Dudley now is fluent in Spanish. <laughs> You're good. There we go. So if you know buenos dias, you know fluent in Spanish. So we have a new translator right here. It's gonna translate for us. <laughs> but anyway, we are so excited. So uh, yeah, this is the conference I've been poured already and we're gonna to get to work. And so I'll let you guys see more later on as we go through the day. Your, your yeah, there you go. There you go. That's good. Flip it over. Okay, a whole bunch of 
Yeah, he's gonna get swept by his help. Let's give our whole party. It's not that hard of a walk around here. We got room to work this one. Watch your walk step middle there, please. This is a house that we're building. It was just a concrete slab yesterday. And we've already got the wood up, the walls up, the blackboard on, the chicken wire on for stucco. So today we'll be putting on the roof, drywalling, finishing electrical. So. so we are finishing up day one and you can get a clear picture of how far we've come. So because of the blessing of Corona, the foundation was laid a few days before we got here. So we were able to come in on day one, just put up the wall and now we're putting up the blackboard. So there's some good things because of Corona. So thank God for Corona. <laughs> because Corona was here, they were not able to lay the concrete over the weekend, so we had to have the concrete laid before we got here. And so that's why we are this far ahead. So again, there's a blessing in disguise, even in the midst of a pandemic, a panoramic, whatever you want to call it, God is still in control and he's still doing miracles. All right, see you in the next video. Finish the installation, putting the windows in. This is our day two. So this is one of the bedrooms. You can see how big the bedrooms are. That's one bedroom. It's another bedroom. And this is kind of like the living room. Here we're like, we got all the chicken wire on the outside so we can start putting the stocko on. on the roof. Yeah. Oh, we got some roof insulation left to do. It looked like I'm working. Having a great 
See you later, guys. Huh? Hey, what's going on, folks? Our so day two. You can see we got the window in. We got some paint on the window. And we are continuing to work. But the dust storm, the sand storm, whatever you want to call it, it's been driving us crazy. But we just keep driving along and uh, getting the work done. So I'm going to walk you through right now. We're doing installation. So you can see what we got going on so far. So you can see, windows are in and painted. Ready for the stocker, okay? Day two for you. See you on the next clip. This is the inside of the house, the first bedroom. And drywall going up on the third day. Drywall going up on the third day. Second bedroom. Hey, Chloe, is there any small ladders that are not being used? I know you use a lot. I probably just need one here when we get on this side. Only right now, but we're sticking here. Okay. This is the outside of the house. Roof is already on. And we got circling going on on the back side already. Windows are in. Circling going on. So that's it. More Good later. Morning. Good morning. So we are on day three. We're getting ready to start doing the stock, the stock on the building. So the guys are doing the sand, and we're getting ready to do that. So uh, we just got on site, and we're getting ready to work. I'm trying to finish it up. Again, we've been blessed with the concrete. We've been leaving early, late early, so that allows us to move faster. So we're pretty much done. All we got to do now is just stock up the house and um, finish the drywall on the inside, and we are done. So uh, see you on the next clip. This is the inside of the house, the first bedroom. And drywall going up on the third day. Drywall going up on the third day. Second bedroom. Hey Chloe, is there any small ladders that are not being used? I know you use a lot. I probably just need one here when we get on this side. Only right now, but we're sticking here. Okay. This is the outside of the house. Roof is already on. And we got circling going on on the back side already. Windows are in. Circling going on. So that's it. More later. Good 
live. Hey, what's going on? So it's day three. Donovan, Jonathan, we got Roberta on the mixer, mixing away. Ishmael on the barrel, and we are doing the stocko. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> we got Rick, stocko master. You know, he's doing it up. Yeah. Hey, uh, Hey, we wish you could be here too, but hey, that's how it works. But uh, yep, so we're on the job, getting it done. Wish we could talk more, but there's more mix, so we got to get to work. So, see you on the next clip. All right. This is a house dedication. Gracias, le doy a cada uno de ustedes. Y yo los bendigo en el nombre de Jesús. 
bendigo sus familias, a cada uno de ellos. So we are completed the house of site one and getting ready to turn it over to the family. We have done our part and then they will pick up from here. So I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough. This is 
those are all the gifts and stuff that we brought down for the family. So um, this is uh, one of the bedroom. And now what we're gonna do is uh, they will do the rest. The other bedroom. And the team. We're going to read Psalm 23 today. Dice la palabra de Dios y se lee en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Jehová es Jehová es mi pastor y nada me faltará. En lugares de delicados pastos me hará descansar. Junto a aguas de reposo me pastoreará. Confortará mi alma. Me guiará por sendas de justicia por amor de su nombre. Aunque ande en valle de sombra de muerte, no temeré mal alguno, porque tú estarás conmigo. Tu vara y tu callado me infundirán aliento. Aderezas mesa delante de mí en presencia de mis angustiadores. Unges mi cabeza con aceite, mi copa está rebosando. Ciertamente el bien y la misericordia me seguirán todos los días de mi vida. Y en la casa de Jehová moraré por largos días. Amén. Oramos. Let's pray. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Ale, sí. Padre, te damos gracias en esta tarde, Señor Jesús. Gracias por este ministerio de Casas por Cristo, por este grupo, Señor. Has bendecido, mi Dios, esta familia, mi Dios, con una casa nueva. Y gracias por cada uno de mis hermanos aquí presentes, Señor, que pusieron de su tiempo, Señor, para hacerles una casa nueva a esta familia. Gracias le doy a cada uno de ustedes. Y yo los bendigo en el nombre de Jesús. Bendigo sus familias, a cada uno de ellos. Amén. Les amo mucho y aquí están las llaves de la casa. Yay! Yeah. 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 Anybody else want to share any words? Any thoughts? Chloe? Uh, I just want to start off by saying thank you for all of the great meals you've given us. Gracias por las cenas increíbles que nos dio esta semana. Father, just thank you for this beautiful house. We pray that it will be such a blessing to this family. Father, that you care for them, that each time they walk into this house, Lord, they will feel the power of your presence. We just pray that your Holy Spirit would be present here, oh Lord, especially in this neighborhood. We just pray that you'll protect this house, protect those that come into this house, that they will know that you are the one true God, the God of the universe. Han recibido esta familia, Leti, su compañero, su hijo, su madre. Gracias, Señor. Dios es que ya no van a pasar
This is All right, folks, well, that's it. We have done the dedication. Uh, we've uh, given the key to the family. <laughs> we have given the key to the family. We prayed, we said our goodbyes, we lay hand on the building, and now we're getting ready to head back to the next site to make sure they're finished. They're grateful for the blessing that God has bestowed upon them. And so we just continue to pray for the family that God will be glorified in her and her son as they continue to uh, live that uh, they will uh, serve others just the way that they've been served. So thanks again for your support, your love. God bless you, and we will see you.